a young boy dinesh was very eager to know what his destiny had in store for him he would go and visit many astrologers palmists and jyotishis of the land they would all reveal to him a different destiny some would draw it as very optimistic and others would paint it as very bleak finally the young dinesh decided to put the issue at rest spend some money and consult the most famous diviner jyotishi of the land he went up to that jyotishi and asked him to look into his destiny and reveal it that jyotishi took two pieces of chalk one black and one white with each of them he drew a circle on the floor he then went into the next room picked up a tortoise and brought it in his hands and said young man it's time for you to pray this tortoise will decide i will leave it on the ground if it walks into the black circle your destiny is terrible and awful and if it enters the white circle it is bright and positive that boy watched with a bated breath as the tortoise was placed on the floor it slowly stuck its head out and began crawling towards the two circles then the most dreaded awful thing happened it turned towards the black circle and was inching forward towards it by the second no said dinesh this cannot be he went and picked up the tortoise what are you doing said the diviner dinesh boldly placed the tortoise in the white circle the diviner said how dare you interfere with my predictions dinesh said what do you expect me to do wait and watch while this tortoise destroys my future in front of my very eyes he then understood that his destiny was in his own hands like the tortoise he had lifted this question to what extent is our life decided by destiny and to what extent is it decided by our purusharth or self effort is a widely debated one even in philosophical circles it is true there is an element of destiny in our lives there are three kinds of karmas that we need to understand the first is sanchit karm the accumulated karmas of our endless past lifetimes we are responsible for them and will have to bear their consequences Now every time God sends us down he takes a portion of those karmas and gives them to us this part of your sanchit you will have to bear in the coming life that becomes fixed as our destiny but at the same time at every moment we have the freedom to do karmas by our free will they are called kriyaman karma karmanam sanchita dinam jeevo dhinas tatha pihi the prarabd and sanchit are fixed swatantra kriyamane vai krito bhagavata vida but in doing your purusharth you have the freedom so what you get in life is a combination of purusharth and your destiny if the destiny happens to be poor 
you don't stop there you put in more effort and transform that poor destiny into a bright one so the message then is at every moment we have the freedom to act this is how lord krishna closes his teachings of the bhagavad gita he tells arjun iti te gyanam akhyatam gohiyad gohiyataram maya vimrishai tad sheshena yathe chasi tatha kuru what does this verse mean let me read out its meaning and understand its purport from my recently published commentary bhagavad gita the song of god 63rd verse of the 18th chapter thus i have explained to you this knowledge that is more secret than all secrets ponder over it deeply and then do as you wish the commentary this free will to choose between available alternatives has been given to the soul by god the freedom of choice is not infinite one cannot decide i choose to be the most intelligent person in the world our choices are limited by our past and present karmas however we do possess a certain amount of free will we are not machines in the hands of god sometimes people question that if god had not given us free will then we would not have done any evil but then we would not have done any good either the opportunity to do good always comes with the danger of doing evil more importantly god wants us to love him and love is only possible where there is a choice a machine cannot love because it does not have freedom of choice god created us with free will and provided us with choices so that we may choose him and thereby exercise our love for him here shri krishna is calling arjun's attention to his free will and asking him to choose